I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today I'm sitting behind the wheel of something that we've never had in the MS Classic Cars collection. This is a 1958 Champion Sabre 14 foot runabout. Yes folks, here now we have a boat. Thank you guys, check it out. Interesting story, uh, my business partner, Brian Frank, who lives in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, he actually purchased uh, this boat uh, for his collection. He had it on display uh, maybe in the last year or so, uh, decided um, to change up his display and he sent uh, the boat here so we could do a great uh, job getting it serviced and detailed and presented to you today, uh, which is what we're doing. So this is definitely a very unique uh, situation for us as I don't really have any experience with boats. However, I learned a lot about this boat. On that particular note, before I get into the boat and the company who built it and some of the particulars, I just want to mention to you um, that I had this boat surveyed professionally. Um, I didn't even know what a survey was, but when you're looking at buying a boat, especially a used boat, um, you want to have it surveyed to make sure that it's safe, everything is in uh, correct order and so forth. So I invested $650 and I had that done. Uh, the gentleman who did it was Captain Jeffrey Stone. Um, you can check out his full report within our listing. This is a very detailed report. It gives you all the information about the boat. It gives you all of the uh, general condition aspects of it, construction, uh, hull, superstructure, and things like this. So once again, this is all uh, included within our photo gallery. Um, so talking a little bit about this boat, the Champion Boat Company uh, was from Long Beach, California. Um, there is a original serial uh, plaque that is on the back of the boat. Uh, he references it as the ID. Uh, 1892 is the uh, number. I guess you refer to that as the hull number. Um, this boat was actually found in Lake Dillon, Colorado in 1995. A gentleman by the name of Bob Gillum actually found it um, with this trailer that you see with it today. And he spent uh, many years doing a full restoration. We do have photos that are included. We also pictures those inside of our photo gallery that clearly show the boat when it was original um, and under the restoration process. He uh, spent from 1996 uh, until about 2001, I figure it was about early 2001, completing this entire restoration. And then when the restoration was completed, he actually took it on the Chatfield Reservoir where it was clocked by the state of Colorado at 32 miles an hour. I have that documentation in here as well. So this boat's kind of got a cool story, uh, great history. It's definitely a rare piece from all the information I've gathered. Um, so talking about uh, some of the things that we have inside this binder here, 
Um, if you've been following MS Classic cars, you know that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. I would definitely say this is a, a number two condition vehicle. To read it directly from the actual survey report, um, it says here, restoration does not appear to be to the standards of museum quality. Restorations are generally understood. Nonetheless, it is unusual vessel with a solid restoration effort that presents very well overall. So I would describe this as a number two condition boat. Um, it's definitely not a museum piece, but something that we're proud to have. Um, like all of the classic cars that we have at MS Classic Cars, uh, we're the only dealership in the country who services everything we sell. We document that work with an invoice. We did bring this vehicle into our service department. If you haven't seen our new service department, please check out our website facilities page. I also put a picture of our new service department within our uh, photo gallery as well. It's a 5,000 square foot service area that we're very proud of. We just finished it. And this boat was actually one of the first things that we had serviced since we completed that. So that invoice is included in here as well. Um, some of the other paperwork that I have, I have owner's manuals. Again, I have photos of the restoration. I got a bunch of notes that were in here from the gentleman who did the restoration. And I have tons of receipts uh, that document all of the expenses that he invested in the boat. Uh, there's wiring diagrams, uh, some things that he got off the internet. Uh, there's some paperwork on the gauges, uh, and then there's a bunch of information, um, again, that he printed offline regarding the engine, which I'll get into in a minute. So pretty cool that I have all this information here uh, on this boat, um, so that obviously is included. Talking a little bit about uh, the boat itself, um, obviously this entire boat has, again, been restored. Um, the outside was painted a Kelly green, which is kind of a cool color. The color actually matches the trailer. The trailer was done... Um, I believe this was the original trailer from the photos I can see when it was original. When I'm talking original, I'm talking about when it was found in 1995. The trailer was painted green to match the boat, uh, so it's a, kind of a really cool color. Some of the padding along this here and this cover that covers the back bench area is actually kind of a different shade of green that complements it nicely. All of this mahogany plywood um, has been obviously completely finished and varnished. It's in really nice condition. Um, it's got, you can't really maybe see it from the video that you're looking at, but it has this kind of white uh, pinstriping, if you will, that's up on the bow here that looks really, really nice. Um, it also has new windshield, uh, new pieces here, all of the hardware that's on the boat, um, the tow hooks and so forth, all of this chrome work here is in beautiful condition. It has the flag. Uh, talking about the lights, it has a light in the front, it has a light in the back. Uh, once again, I'm gonna pull this here. You probably can't see it with the angle of the camera, but the lights are actually on. The horn's on here. You can hear uh, beep. So actually all of that is functioning. The gauges are in functioning order. They're Feria gauges, they're black face. Uh, there's a couple other things here that you'll be able to see within our uh, photo gallery here of all the instruments and things like that. Um, the inside of this boat is in beautiful condition. The one thing that's really unique about it is I know that Bob spent a lot of time on these wicker bench seats. It has obviously uh, two seats in the front, two seats in the back. And then he put this tasteful design here, uh, which is against the backrest of the actual seat, which is really cool. So again, the interior uh, space of this boat is in really nice condition. You can put a bunch of stuff in the front there life jackets or whatever you're using. There's an oar that's in here as well. It's attached to the floor. Um, the gas tank has been strapped safely in the back for the fuel system um, and so forth. So getting into um, probably one of the most special parts about this boat, this is what I spent the most time learning and understanding as my mechanics did in the service department as well. The boat actually has a very, very rare 1959 Mercury Mark engine. The engine from what I've gathered is, is very, very uh, rare in the sense that it's uh, something you don't really see very often. It's very Art Deco in its design. It reminds me a lot of the cars that were built in the 50s. So if you take a peek uh, at that in our photo gallery, you'll see how unique it is. What uh, Bob did is he bought the engine, again, that was a uh, 55E, and he changed what they call the top 
uh, power head of the motor, which is a 58A, and it's a super thunderbolt. Uh, it was very common when these vehicle, uh, boats were being raced that guys would heavily modify the original motors to create more horsepower and it didn't add any more weight. So this motor originally had 44 horsepower, now it's got over 50 horsepower, and once again it was clocked at 32 miles an hour. So very impressive motor. We actually uh, have a video, normally when we have uh, vehicles on video here, um, I always start them, let people listen to how they run. Sometimes I shut them off, I turn them back on. Obviously we can't do that right here, right now. So what we did is we did a video, we got a bucket full of water. We actually uh, you know, did a video which we're gonna be sliding into this video here. So you can actually see the motor run. It starts right up, it runs absolutely beautiful. The only comment that I will make about the motor is it does not have reverse gear. Um, these notes that were actually taken here in these invoices uh, that I've saved and gone through, which are all included, shows that uh, this gentleman here, Tom, who might have actually bought this boat from Bob, I wasn't able to verify that, but he was in uh, Colorado. He actually took it in and had it serviced um, in February of 2015. It was just some basic service work here, and he did note that the motor does not have reverse gear. So if somebody uh, wanted to have reverse gear, they would have to pull the bottom section of the motor apart and they would have to rebuild that gear. Um, the only comment I will make is because this is such a rare engine, parts can be a little bit difficult to find. So that might have to be done, you know, when the boat's being stored at some point down the road if the owner chooses to. Um, but the forward gear obviously is in great working order. It runs beautiful. The engine has been fully rebuilt. Uh, you can see again in our photo galleries how awesome the condition is. Um, so, I think I've covered everything about this boat. I don't know if we'll ever have another boat at MS Classic Cars again, but definitely something that I'm really uh, proud of. It's definitely something really unique. You have to check it out on our website at msclassiccars.com. This is normally the part where I would tell you I'm gonna start it and let you listen to how beautiful it runs. So I'll go ahead and do this. We'll say I'm gonna start it and then we'll tie in the other video of it running. We appreciate you watching. Please make sure to follow us if you haven't. Uh, sent us your email address uh, to be part of our VIP email blast. Make sure you do that. Again, you can contact us uh, at msclassiccars.com on the contact page. Sign up for the email blast. We appreciate it if you also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, follow our YouTube account and so forth. Again, we appreciate you watching. Thank you. Hey everyone, this is Corey from MS Classic Cars. I'm here with our service manager, Michael Marcella, and one of our mechanics, Wayne Arnold. The last couple of days they were working on this boat to get it running for this video so we can show you how well it runs. Wayne, fire up the Mark 58 Super Thunderbolt. We can show you that the RPM gauge is working too. Wayne, give it a little rev. Thank you guys, check it out.